I've been on the ground since day one. Since the seventeenth. Yeah. Have you? Okay. Maybe left I took, the area since then. Yeah, I took two days off on the on the, uh, the day of the. Uh, you know, I might lose a whole lot of street cred right now, but when I saw the uh, the mace day coming, the mace, the mace, the first day that they got maced, I saw that coming, and I was just like. Well, what do you mean? It's not, it's not out, like. What do you mean? If you, it's like. Here we go. Watch out. Watch out. This guy right here in the. Like, just watch out. Just, just, just watch out. Hold up. So I, when you add two things, two or three things together, and you you know you you cook it for a little while, you know what you're gonna get. You don't have to be a, a fortune teller to know that if you leave the bean, if you leave, it's like you don't have to be a fortune teller to know that if you leave food out, it goes bad. You know, so I knew that, not to say that the protests and the macings, that it was bad that we went out to protest. I'm not saying that, that's for each individual person to do. I just knew that if I would have gone out to the protest, it would have been bad for me. Because I would have been a glory-seeking egomaniac. I knew that about myself, so I avoided it. So, for the, so when I saw that protest coming, and I saw all the things that were going to go down in that protest, people were planning to have a big... People were having, planning on having a really big, passionate, you know, uh, what do you call a, a military excursion, but that's not an attack, it's just an excursion, like... Reconnaissance? No, like a campaign. Like, they were, gonna, they were planning to have a real big campaign to go out and take Union Square and take this and, and do that. And I saw that and my ego was like, yo, Sage, you could go and be at the forefront of that. Everybody will look at you, you'll be on the news. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna take this invitation to go hang out with this chick and <laughs> hang out for a weekend. And, and I'm gonna take two days off. And I might be criticized for like running away when the, sh the stuff gets hard, but I'd rather do that than, than, than have people accusing me of trying to, you know, be an attention, you know, have people. I don't. I don't. I, I think we're smart. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. My battle. Your gut's telling you don't do something. My gut was all twisted in knots. I had to flip a coin a lot, yeah. and I had to just make a decision with no emotion whatsoever. I had to just make a decision up here. Yeah. Like I had to just go like, this is what I'm gonna do, and if it's the wrong thing, it's the wrong thing. But, and. Uh, You're glad you didn't know, right? I still don't know. Oh really? I still don't know. Like I still don't know if. If what I'm supposed to do is is stay here and be martyred against, like, like, am I supposed to stand here until the until am I supposed to stand here until the guy in sanitation hits me in the face and all of the smiling passive activists say that, oh, you instigated it, and you know, and all the people who claim to be nonviolent say, oh, we're nonviolent, but in that instance. Hey, you, you shouldn't have you shouldn't have defended your things. As they all point to me and say, you know, Sage, you're just so annoying. You're just constantly starting trouble all the time. You know what? I'm gonna avoid that because that's the that's the kind of that's the kind of the language and the kind of the kind of accusations get that get spit. Instead of turning it inward and accusing themselves of being apathetic and complacent, they turn it outward and they accuse people of being of of, of being instigators. While they go and instigate fights with the cops.